This is a follow-up video to the planting of the walnuts that we did two years ago. I used a tractor subsoiler, but this walnut here came from my uncle's ranch, uh, the Rockin' Is Silbot Ranch, and this was a little seedling underneath that lightning struck walnut we took down and milled up. So this has been in the ground three years. So that's how much growth you get in three years. So anyway, we're going to go over here to these rows and count the number of walnut trees that's come up. Hope you enjoy the video. So I put uh, flags beside each one, or more or less by each one, just to mark it so we don't mow them or step on them. That's the uh, field here that was planted with the subsoiler. And here's how big they are. So these are black walnuts planted from seed with the tractor. Good stuff. What's amazing is this ground here had been disturbed when the miners, they mined iron ore out of this area right here. So much of it is very poor. Doesn't even grow grass. So this was an experiment to see what would happen. And so far, I'm sure not all of these will live, but I got a good stand. I want to show you something real quick what the deer have done out here. This is a toothache tree that was leaning like this and the deer would come and rub their antlers on this every year. And so they did it so much that they rubbed all the bark off and of course termites got in there and ate the core of it out. So they have destroyed this tree. We left it here so they could rub here and not on our trees. And what I forgot to mention was that walnut tree we just showed you would be a lot bigger if it weren't for the deer. They're always chewing on it. I don't know if I can get it out or not. This is a persimmon right here. make it so using the tractor subsoiler I planted um, I would say 50 walnuts over here on this red hill and I've got so far I found 26 that has come up there's another field closer to the entrance to this property and we got another 20 that came up over there The two trees that do grow well, grow well here on the Red Hill is Southern Yellow Pine and this is a wild persimmon that's in bloom. I guess I should add that I did not stick these walnut seeds in the refrigerator. I didn't have room so they didn't come up in 2020. They had to go through the cold winter of 2021 and then they came up. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed week.